CPE. So here's a look at your satellite and radar. Zooming in, you can see all the lightning that is associated with these storms. You can see it's moving to the north now. What you doing, Chester? You ready to go duck hunting? Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. It's time for the 2017 Minnesota Duck Hunting Opener. Sounds like we're gonna have a pretty wet, uh, maybe stormy weekend up there. Uh, we have to go through some pretty big storms on our way up there right now. There's hail and uh, strong winds up to 60 miles per hour. And they're like halfway between here, a little bit less than halfway, they're more just south of where we duck hunt. So anyway, the next three and a half hours of driving could be a little bit eventful. I don't think I've ever driven up duck hunting. We're at uh, quarter to six in the morning. I've got the air conditioner going in the truck. I always take the back roads over to 169 here and I'm gonna stop right up the side of the down ramp, check everything on the trailer. And then we're gonna go straight up 169 all the way through Grand Rapids. Okay, everyone, will everything look good? Let's head up to Duck Camp. Skirting up the west side here of Lake Mille Lacs is one of the, there's a few lakes in Minnesota, this is one of them, where you can't see from one side to the other, it's too big. When I drive by an area where the ditch is all mowed, uh, there, that storm must have come through here and dumped a lot of water. In some places there's a lot of standing water. Just getting to the end here of Aiken, Minnesota, and now it's the boringest part of this ride, the long haul between here and Grand Rapids, Minnesota. All right, well, I just talked to Melissa for about 24 minutes. Uh, my dad, he called when I was uh, talking to her and I clicked over. You get, there's really, really horrible cell phone service up there. You gotta walk down by the bridge to get anything. But he said it did rain. It was thundering and lightning up there this morning about five. And it did rain, but it didn't rain real hard. And now there's not supposed to be any other rain until hopefully later this afternoon. So I maybe can get the tent all set up and camp set up when it's still dry, which would be perfect. just coming into Grand Rapids. I'm sure I have said this before when I come up here, but whenever I had the kids with, we always stop right here at Glenn's Army Navy Surplus Store. Coming into the little town of Deer River. This is the last town that I'll go through before I make it up to Duck Camp. I'm all fueled up. That's it. Let's hit the woods. Close now. Zachary just texted me. All I said was hi. I texted him uh, just before Grand Rapids and asked him if he was on the road yet, and he wasn't. So I imagine he probably just got on the road. He'd probably be up here in you know three and a half, four hours. But uh, I'm getting close to camp. All right, we are here. There's my dad's truck right there. his new tent, Chris and Teresa's trailer, and they're over here, and there's my spot right in there. I just saw Teresa by the fire, she waved, I'm gonna go down here, turn around, 
back down in here by the bridge. Drop off my canoe. There's Chris right there. Everything looks about the same. Teresa was nice enough to come over here yesterday with the weed whip thing and clear out a bunch of this for me until she ran out of gas. That'll make it a little easier. Fire pit's still here in the same place. Still a little bit of wood in the wood pile. I think that's all stuff I left here last year, so I'll have to add to that. And we'll pull the tent right back in here like I always do. out there I did jump right in front of my place to you know sitting in you know how they're always in the cattails behind where I sit usually yeah a lot, bunch of mallards they land in the water I don't know if you'll be able to see if they land in the water because the rice is inside but um, if, you, if you can um, you're far, if they fly over the water you'll easily be able to hit because you do have one little spot but the, that little spot of water the Johan spot in front of his place is probably half as big and then I have a little spot of open water over the middle. That's it. I can't just talking to my brother Chris and then Teresa came over here for a while and uh, he was just out there. You guys seen him canoeing out there to the duck hunting area and it is thicker rice than he has seen up here in years. So it'll be interesting to go out there today and see just what the duck hunting area looks like. It changes every single year. A lot of times it's quite drastic. Looks pretty much just how I left it. Still has leaves on the floor and everything. It's going to be nice having all this space to myself. Almost got it now. I think I'll run over and take a look at my dad's tent before Zach gets here and everything starts moving around.
usually my dad always sets up over on this side and I thought he would but maybe he's leaving this one for Zachary it's a little bit of a prettier site because he's set up right over here on this side of the road that's his new tent it looks pretty neat with the stone on the bottom and the logs on the top We'll come and take a look inside later on. I think I'm going to pull this rope and put a double one on the front of the vestibule because this is what holds up the whole tent. And if it gets stormy tonight, that wind might come and crank pretty hard on this. I got that all set up now. It's not as pretty as when it's outside, but when it's raining, this is going to be nice.
think I'm going to cook me a couple of hot dogs for lunch here. Long-term infrastructure projects exist all around the country. <laughs> if it's hot like it is, I mean, it's hot outside, just sweaty hot. It's going to cool down tonight, but if it doesn't, this fan will be nice. Well, I have all of the lanterns set up now. Three of them out here. I one set up in here that I can bring into the tent later. I hooked up the cook stove in case I need that. And of course I always burn this lantern to remember my grandfather who used to come up here all the time. He's been gone for a long time now, but he used to be here every year. Once Zachary gets here, I help him set up his pop-up and I want to throw a tarp over the top of the tent. You can just see how, I mean this thing is over 10 years old, you can see how the seams are just starting to, starting to give way. She's an old tent. Zachary just drove up. He's going to go up there and turn around I imagine. I'll be right back. And like I said before, I'm going to guess he's going to want to pull right in there. That's a nice spot.
Pretty nice. Well, Zach has his camp set up. Got the tarp over the tent for now anyway, in case it starts raining. Chain up the dog here, and then we're gonna run out. He's gonna grab his uh, kayak this time. He'll use the canoe tomorrow. And I'm gonna take my canoe. We're gonna run out and check our duck hunting area. Oh, now it starts to rain, of course. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and I'll follow you. Little teal, look at that teal, some wood ducks. Oh, mallard there, you hear those? That's a lot of ducks. Look at them all. The boats are gonna be able to use this in the morning. I'm going to have to come out pretty early. Look at all of them above your head. That looks like it's going to be hard to get across to that point. Yeah, there is. Well, this is my point area right here that I always sit. It's changed. Now there's a muskrat house right there. I might slip in right here. I might just come straight in right here. You'll be able to see me somewhat, but opening morning doesn't really matter. Because if I go up there uh, and I tuck in, I can't see anything coming back from the other side of me now that this is out so far. I might set a few decoys out here, but I'm not gonna need many. Look at this. Last year, most of this was all wide open. This is beautiful. Tomorrow morning when I'm out here, when I have my waders, I'll shove it right in there, pull the canoe all the way back, and right behind me I'll have that muskrat house. How was it up there? Was there?
<laughs> there are a lot of ducks, a lot of ducks flying around, so. How's the rice for your place, not bad? Uh, you still gotta go through it, but it isn't super bad. Okay. So I'll just, uh, I went straight out, and now there's a, a muskrat house right there. Okay. So I'll sit right in front of it, and then just kinda, I'm not gonna be completely exposed, but first day, who cares? Right. You know, as long as you're not wearing yellow, they just come right. over anyway. Right. Especially How's if it's your spot? Rain. A lot of rice, but it looks okay. Yeah. So yeah, shouldn't be. There's a lot of ducks though. I mean, flying yeah. just like usual, like you said. Right. Same amount. I think I'll run over so we can take a look at Chris and Teresa's camp here, since they're out on the lake right now. They have the one size smaller cylinder stove stove right here. They've had this thing for years. Have you ever been up here duck hunting wearing shorts? Have we ever? There's been a couple of warm years, but I can't remember when. I think there's a couple of years I wanted to be shorts, but I didn't have them. <laughs> I have this firewood covered up in case we get a lot of rain. And I brought some in here under the vestibule in case, I mean, it's hot today, but if it cools down tomorrow and it's wet, that stove will feel good. Well, my brother Chris has been out grouse hunting, I think I said that already, and he did jump a couple. There's too many leaves, it's hot, the mosquitoes are bad, but I'm still going to jump in. There's a little trail I like to try up the road here. Drive over there, and just run down it, see if we jump anything. Zachary's going to run down and try some fishing off the bridge and give Chester a bath because he's going to let him sleep in his pop-up today. So we brought the shampoo and the dog dummy. You can soap him up and throw it out there and he'll get nice and rinsed off. <laughs> He's always been so loud, hasn't he?
I remember walking that trail years back when Sarah was a lot younger. And that must have been a high grouse year. And uh, I walked that trail probably three years in a row and would constantly jump grouse on it and shoot them. Now this is probably the third year I have not jumped a grouse there. So I got another little short one up here I'll try. I mean right now the leaves are on the tree. It is 79 degrees outside and the humidity is so high you can stand there and sweat. I did text Melissa. She texts I can't get the weather on my phone. And she texted me back and said that uh, scattered thunderstorms about 11 o'clock tonight and then again about five o'clock in the morning so hopefully when they come through the humidity will go and it'll cool down a little bit this is another trail back in here that used to produce quite a bit well nothing on this trail either It's actually kind of strange to grouse hunt alone. Um, I always had, like Sarah, she loves to grouse hunt. Zachary, he doesn't much care for it. He likes to duck hunt. And uh, so Sarah would always walk with me. I always have her in front. And when I didn't have Sarah with me, I always had Max with me. And I always liked hunting with Max because he was, he like if you have Chester out grouse hunting, he'll go way up there. You're always calling him back and he's so high energy. And Max, he was low energy. And he would just walk but if there was any grouse scent you could tell he would start going crazy sniffing around his tail would wag and you'd get your gun ready because almost every time then he would go into the woods and jump a grouse now when i'm by myself everything is so dead quiet there's nobody to hear walking in front of you drove over here to the boat launch like Zachary was saying earlier, if he were to uh, just come and put his canoe in right here, he sits kind of between those trees and those trees, the closer ones, right in the middle across in those cattails. And my point that I sit on, if you look over there, those trees that are right there, that's where I come with the canoe and I go straight across and I'll leave like behind those trees on that little point of cattails. Oh, oh, oh. Holy There's shit. not going to be a turnaround. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see anything at all, but silence. That's it. I ran down to the bolt launch and talked to Melissa for about 10 minutes because I can get two bars of service there part of the time. So. Yeah. I was able to talk to Sam on the bridge. logs and I brought up a 2 by 10 I'm going to put this on top of there. I've never had any problem in this tent, but years ago had a little tent up here and uh, we got tons of rain and the water come in the bottom of the tent, so I don't think it would happen with this one, but if it did, I don't want my stuff getting wet. I want to get all my stuff ready for duck hunting tomorrow morning so I don't have to do it in the dark. Fry pan and my sternal fuel. Bottle of water. Stocking cap. Couple of pairs of gloves. Probably not going to need it, but you never know. And a whole two-piece rain suit. Don't you have to have it in a scabbard even if it's in your four-wheeler? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have no clue what they were you doing. You know, also, if you drive in here, you'll see a crowd. You couldn't actually just stop and shoot it. It doesn't have to be like 50 feet. Yeah. 
Ja najlijepo dat lijkt laatst in de nonnijke de rain in de tent. It starts to rain on the tent. Mm -hmm. I like that sound. Oh, it's yeah. It's right to sleep. Yeah. I, I don't like when it... This is a little yeah. bit of carbon until even years. Wow. Is there more than one generation? How long have they been at it? They don't even have... They, 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 they don't have like they're hanging out down there. Oh, you're gonna put that over the canoe? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah. So, rather than trying to stuff this in my bag. <laughs> right, right. Just bring it down right now so it's there. Yep. Did you? <laughs> it's incredible. Burn down a little bit, and I'll be able to put the grate on there and cook up some pork chops. Half a pot of ground turkey, half a thing of corn, and some small red potatoes. Chopped up. Oh, a nice one little nice foil thing that works out real good. Easy. Yep. Mine does that yeah, sometimes I, I too. I thought, okay, yes. I five. Uh, I could see maybe everyone's getting up to start turning them on. And if you had gets a buddy here, it shouldn't make any difference. Right, and right. Then, and so I got this big pillow I put in front of her. I could. Um, Johan lives in that really nice development too. We would try all and I did a cross and so it's free one. I think we would. Yep.
Okay, everyone, well, it's duck camp dinner time. Casted it by that sharp turn, and I thought for sure something would be in there, but nothing. It wasn't. A lot of weeds. I would hate to tip over. Yeah, that would figure out how many years it's supposed to pay itself off. And That's exactly all I think of it is how long are we not going to make money before we make money? <laughs> right. Right. But still, then, when a person has money, you invest money like that because everything is a write-off. Mm -hmm. Jack and I sat up talking by the fire till now it's 11.05. My alarm is set for 4. We'll be duck hunting tomorrow morning. Good night, everybody. It is so hot in here. <laughs> so glad I have this fan. I'll see you guys in the morning, which is uh, under five hours away. Time for the duck blind. Well, I just walked over to Chris's in their camp and uh, let some of the lights are on. So they're already up. It's 10 minutes after 4 right now. Just about time to head out to the duck blind. You guys rising and shining over there? Oh, yeah. Alright, awesome. Gonna bring one load of stuff down to the canoe. I'm guessing it's still in the mid 60s. There's a little bit of mist once in a while that I feel on my skin. It's not raining yet though. Go see if Zachary's up, get my waders on, and it's just about time to head out. Zachary? Zach? It's just about 4.30. I'm going to go out there to get my spot, all right? All right. I'll see you out there in a little bit. All right. I'm going to head out there, okay, guys? All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I don't want somebody sitting in my spot like they were last year.
while there's some guys that are a little ways over to uh, the left of me down in that uh, bay. But um, they're not on the point, so that's good. I'm not sure if that's Zachary or Chris, but somebody's coming out. That's got to be Zachary. Nobody else has that bright of a headlamp. Now here comes, I don't know if that's Chris or Teresa or Johan. A little breeze has picked up, which is nice. Get rid of the bugs. And I can see some of the stars right now. Less than a half hour. Well, it's clouded back up again. We got nine minutes until shooting time. It's a little bit lighter than what the camera is showing, but not a whole lot.
Well, I'm going to get into a fresh change of clothes here and then go see how everybody did. How's it going over here? Good. They were behind me and just to the left, but when I was there in the morning, they were way out in the back in the part of the bay with the mm -hmm. boat. And then they came right up behind there, so when they shot, it would even hurt my ears. And then I couldn't shoot ducks that were going that way because it would have went, fell towards them. Mm -hmm. And usually the ducks will come up that side and then whip right around that point. My best shots will not. Steel. Wood ducks. Nice. Steel and woodies, huh? Is that a ring bill? Yeah. Pops out of the boat, starts so swimming around. I had to pack all my stuff. Oh, God. Go out there, because now I. The wind's going this way, he's that way, so he can't smell that rice. I know it, he's going to drown. He's going to get too tired and he's going to die. So I'm panicking, and then. So he must have been swimming, because then he would swim around, and then all of a sudden the duck would jump up. It's like. the heat going in here it'll help dry things out everything is so damp this stuff is just wet so let that dry I've got the door open to the tent but it's a lot warmer in here than it is outside it's nice I think in a little bit here I'm gonna cook up some more of those pork chops I had a bunch left over that I didn't cook last night I be I was gonna do cook out in the in the boat today with my sterno stove, but then it started raining and I was like, no way. <laughs> so I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna run across and see what they're doing uh, uh, at Chris and Teresa's place there before I throw these on. Zach said he wanted to do burgers on the fire, but I think he might be taking a nap over there, so I don't really want to go wake him up. I'm just going to cook up my pork chops, and he can come over here and cook whenever he wants.
That's how I know where those one people came from that set up by you. Probably half a dozen of them landed in our set last time we were out there. You did, huh? Nice. Well, there's about an hour and a half here before duck hunting closes for the day. The rain, it's still raining a little bit, but it's let up now. Uh, so Zach and I are going to hop in the canoe and just make a loop out there jump shooting. Nice job. Awesome.
first shoot, and I think the only way you can shot can't sit and stretch the sky. Yeah. It feels if you roll that three line, yeah. I think it's time for a beer. that went with with a switchboard on the side of the duck blind and then wire that went down underwater and went out and then came up on a pole and then it would plug these these electric decoys oh, that yeah. would move and stuff like that so I could just flip a switch yeah. and the decoys would move and stuff. <laughs> we come out the next year. Somebody took it something on it. It's a different oh. 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 No. Oh. 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 No. Oh. Yeah. Flip it out. Get it. Get it. Get it. There. Now that's a flashlight oh. you want to buy right there. <laughs> I wouldn't grab it quite yet, but... No. Burn your hands. It is. Yeah. Can't even stand close to it. You got your foil stuff on here? You gonna put your pork chops on soon? Yeah, I just don't know how long... I have two little red potatoes and I don't know how long they're gonna take. So oh. Giving them a little bit of time. <laughs> Yeah, I can see on my radar that the geese are landing in front of my duck. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I'm going to run out and brush my teeth, and I'd say it's just about time for bed. Okay, everyone, while well, the rain is falling again, I'll see you guys about 4 o'clock in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm surprised I woke up a few times last night. It was raining all night long, and now it's it stopped. Zachary? Zach? You up in there? All right, it's almost 4.30. I'm going to take off, okay? See you out there. I'm heading out. Huh? I'm heading out there. Oh, yeah? Okay, I already heard some boats going out earlier. I did. If they're out there, they're out there, you know? <laughs> All right. Sounds good. good luck. See you. Yep, thanks. That temperature has definitely risen overnight. I made it here to the point. And that's where I slide the canoe in. This is Sunday morning now, so it's going to be a lot slower. There's not as many ducks flying around. A bunch of them got killed yesterday. Not as many hunters pushing them around. So um, Sunday, as always, you just never know. Are you going to get any shots or what? So, But it, it's, it doesn't matter. I'm always out here. Looks like I have about a little over an hour and a half to wait. Hopefully those morons won't... Uh, come back in here that were here yesterday right behind me. That's Zachary right there. Well, we got just over a half hour until we can shoot. It's a much quieter uh, day today. Not near as many boats have come out. Um, this time yesterday, you could just hear boats going everywhere, and I don't hear anything right now. A few ge geese that are honking out somewhere in the in the distance, and that's about it. There was some uh, stars that were out. I don't see any anymore, and. Uh, the wind has switched and now today it's kind of a little bit from the east there's not much wind at all and the temperature has dropped and the, or maybe the humidity since I left camp this morning
Hey, I could hear the dog panting when you paddled by earlier this morning. <laughs> Yo. How'd you do? I didn't get nothing. Didn't you? At least you got some shooting in, you know. Yeah, I get the shoot, but yeah, that, uh, I wasn't about to go back in there because it's pretty hard to get through. Is it? Yeah. You know. No, just like every Sunday, it's just a slow, slower morning, a lot less hunters out. and. Yeah, those people beyond me weren't there. These people aren't here. No, no, pretty quiet. It's going over by Johan, but that's pretty high. All right, everyone, well, now it's time to break camp. It's always fun setting it up, and it's always dreaded when you have to take it down. But it's been a good weekend. Shot some ducks, uh, had a great time. Weather wasn't the best, but it was still, it was just a lot of fun. So anyway, let's get started. I got one. Yeah. What did you? How did you do? I got five. Did you? Oh, another couple peeking up in there. How'd you do? Nothing like taking camp down in the rain.
not too bad. It's just kind of heavy for one person. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Well, it's just as clean as when we got here. Now we got to run down and tie on the canoes. My dad's spot is all cleaned up. He always leaves right away in the morning. Zachary's campsite looks nice and clean. This is Lisa, they're just getting their tent down right now. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It was a great weekend. Nice family tradition that happens every year, and I can't wait for next year. Stop by here and say bye to Chris and Teresa, and I'll be on my way. guys on the next video.